out the gate and made a few passes up in here. And this is where I got tired of backing up and going forward again, busting out the snow. So we will just stop right here. Okay, there's the snowshoes and we'll uh, get them on. Man, really sinking in a mile in this powder snow. Okay, we're gonna go check on the bus and the camp up here at the mountain property. Man, this was just pretty much melted off. And now there's so much snow, the fence and the fence posts are about buried again. Oh well, we can just walk right over the fence then. Here's the fence. And I'll just walk right over it. There's a picnic table. Two picnic tables. Right there. That tells us how much snow there is. Uh, I could get a measuring tape, but uh, that's pushing three feet right there. And I'm gonna have to dig out to get inside the bus. It's a beautiful day up here today, actually. It doesn't get much more beautiful than this in the winter. All right, let's go do a tour of the inside of the bus. Alrighty, I got it unlocked. Let's go check it out. Well, this is it. Got a table I took out of my pickup camper. Turned the bus seats around, at least one of them. I've got a uh, fish cleaning table for a kitchen sink and a drain that runs out to the bottom of the bus. Uh, wood stove which heats us up very nicely uh, Leslie's got part of her couch up here and the other part of it's in our house and um, TV there and a queen bed in the back and that's pretty much it here's a view from this end of the bus the nice thing about a bus for a cabin is you have 360 degrees of windows all the way around. And I built the bed to be right at the height of the windows so you can just lay there and look out and we camp with our horses so we can just look out there and see our horses grazing in the meadow. But anyway, that's it. The cool thing about this is that this used to be our travel bus for our Milton Freewater School District where I was the band director and went on many trips on this bus with many bands over the years. I think this is a 1996 bus, um, data manufacturer, uh, should be there somewhere. Data manufacturer two of, two of 98. So it's the 22 year old bus. And I think this is the third winter I've had it up here. $500 cabin. Uh, can handle any snow load that Mother Nature throws at her. Um, metal. I think it'll survive any forest fire up here. 360 degrees of windows. So to me, it is a perfect $500 cabin. Okay, everything checks out, so... Head back home. Here's the fence that I crossed over. It's no wonder I couldn't drive the four wheeler up here. Didn't realize there was so much snow up here. Snowshoes are the ticket. Got to have them. So it's actually kind of amazing 
that I busted through that much snow. It's pretty dang deep.